Okay, guys, I'm going to recap this. I just replaced the antifreeze coolant. You've got two chambers. You've got the first one right there. You've got the second one right there. And below is where all the magic happens. It's still draining right now. There's the fluid still draining. Um, what I did was first, you have to take off all the plastic cover. Here's the plastic cover right here, guys. That's the plastic cover. It came off. You need a size 10 millimeter socket to take all of them off and then the plastic clips. Now underneath, if you look in the radiator from behind, you see two yellow petcock valves, okay? The lower valve um, is for the smaller coolant. And then that one's already drained. I'm gonna just close it here, turn it right. The other one on top uh, by the fan is still draining. That's for the main, the main coolant uh, that I showed you on top, which is on the passenger side. And it's still draining. I'm gonna let it finish draining a little bit longer. Here's how much coolant came out of out so far. I'd say that's probably about a container full of coolant. But you know what? It's better than nothing. Okay, so at least I got a little bit of this old stuff out. Now I'm at about 157,000 miles. And um, yeah, it's working great. Okay, so there you go. There's the little valve. All right, again, in relation to my car, that's the driver's side. Okay, so everything's on the driver's side. Here's my Fumoto valve to change my oil. And my oil filter housing is over there. And um, as soon as it's done dripping, I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm gonna fill it up with some coolant. I'm gonna use the Xerox valve, okay? So this is for Toyota Lexus. Um, I got two cans of it. And uh, that's it, fellas. That's how you do it, okay? Get your car on some Rhino ramps or something. Make sure you put your, your uh, chalk your wheels so they don't roll back on you. Um, and then just wait for it to drip, drip dry, and and you guys are in business. And then you just gotta put the covers back on right here. Okay, these this is pretty easy to take off. Uh, the screws are all pretty visible. Uh, the plastic clips I just used a little screwdriver to to pop out the middle center, and then um, let's see, it kind of looks like this. For the plastic pieces, you pop out the middle piece first, and then you pull it out. So you gotta put the put the uh, screwdriver head, flat head, into here. Pop that out in the center, and then and then these come out, and the plastic clips all come out. It's just about done, guys. I'm, I think I'm gonna close it up here in a second and consider it good enough, and then. We have fresh fluid antifreeze for another five years. And uh, let me know what else you guys want to do. But I've already changed the transmission fluid in this car. So uh, we're good on that. Um, so far, so good. I'll be doing the wheel bearing here next. So yeah, check that out. That's the fan. That's the radiator. Those are the two drains, one and two. Make sure you get both of them, OK? Very easy to do while you're down here. And give it a thumbs up because this stuff is a pain for me to do and film while I'm doing. I appreciate all your support. Subscribe, it helps me out. I would love to get a thousand subscribers, so please do that. And be safe. Okay, fellas, I'm under my Prius Prime. There's a couple screws you gotta take out. Here, here, here here that little black one plastic one and then there's also a few over here as well um not too many they're really visible nothing hiding so one of them is a screwdriver they kind of look like this that's what they use for so so that's what they mostly look like okay that's what's coming out you can use a screwdriver bit to get these guys out from under the plastic cover that's below the radiator, which I'm gonna try to find the pet cock valve and uh, open that up so I can drain the coolant. Just do a drain and fill.
Just so you know the size, it's a 10 millimeter socket. All right, guys. So this is what I'm using. Okay, Xerox pink coolant to fill it back. It's the same color, pink. Oops, just like the original. Now I kind of spilled it over, over spilled it a little bit, but you're just gonna kind of slowly add it. And then I'll probably run the car a little bit. And then I'll keep adding it some more. But that's kind of how it goes, guys. I mean, I would recommend a funnel, but I don't really have an extra funnel. What I also do is I'll, uh, squeeze this tube over here just to kind of bring out the air bubbles there's a tube right back down here see if you can see that right over there there's a tube on the radiator I just kind of squeeze it you'll see it it's pretty obvious um, it's this one right here I squeeze that just to get the air bubbles out it does seem to help um, you can hear it Okay. But anyways, I'm just going to keep filling it up. It's probably, I'm going to estimate probably about a gallon, maybe more. We'll see. I'm just filling this up. I just got done doing that. I'll probably top that off again. I'll, I'll run the car and, and uh, top it off some more. You just want to make sure you fill them up. Um, run it, fill it, make sure you have plenty of coolant in there. All right, don't forget one of these, okay? I appreciate it. All right, guys, so I uh, lowered the car down from the ramps, and then once I did that, I had to fill that back up a little bit more. Um, that one's looking pretty good right now. I'm running the engine right now, so I'm gonna drive around the block and come back and then top it off as needed. Um, it says be careful when it's hot, so, you know, don't open it while it's hot. But I'm hoping that I filled it up enough. It took just, I mean, literally, I used, I used a whole container of this, okay? One whole container, it's completely empty. Um, and then I ended up using just a little bit of the new one as well, so... Not a whole lot, honestly, just a little bit of that. So what came out is probably gonna be one whole bottle of this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill that up and we'll find out here and I'll let you guys know. But anyways, it's got the new pink coolant. Um, very happy with it. As you can tell, it's the Xerox is pink, just like the, uh, it's pink, just like the OEM fluid. So um, I think it's gonna be a success. Again, don't forget to subscribe. This was the last thing that I needed to do on my Prius uh, in terms of maintenance. Um, I already did the CVT transmission fluid, um, spark plugs, filters, air and oil filters. Um, the only thing that I was slow to do was the was uh, the antifreeze change coolant, and that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, but you saw the video, there's two yellow pet cock valves on the side down there. Not sure if you're going to see it from the top, but I was able to access it from the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm going to drive it around and see where it's at. looks like it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I turned on the heater full blast just to see. Um, how it goes but check out my other videos I, I replaced the battery I'm at 100, 157,000 miles uh, again I'm going to do the wheel bearing on the rear because it's making a weird noise plus I think my struts went out over there as well so yeah a lot of work guys but you know what this thing's reliable um, it's been worth it yeah subscribe cool alright guys what's up I warmed up my engine, put the heater on super high, put about one container of Xerox in there. Okay. Got back. 
and it's just close to the uh, just above the low mark close to the middle actually um, this one here is on full so the car was on I noticed that my fan over here is on as well you can see it on so it's working guys it's working good the uh, coolant change was a complete success um, yeah over and out